Hi Pisces. <clears throat> Welcome to your love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Fuck my throat. All right, Pisces. Overall energy, two of pentacles in reverse. So either someone's dropping someone, okay, or someone's finally made up their mind, okay. No more juggling is what I'm hearing. The chariot on your mind with the ace of cups in reverse here. So it looks like you want to move forward. You're very determined to move forward. Okay, now move forward or move towards this person. We'll see. Emotionally, you're very, very shut down. Okay, you're not opening up, not wanting to be vulnerable. <clears throat> this is a lot of sadness and depression. Okay, on your side action you plan on to taking is just watching this person okay you there looks like there is some kind of communication that you are wanting to do towards this person ace of swords is on this person's mind this person either wants closure or they want some kind of clarity okay because there is just no communication between you guys and they want a breakthrough here five of wands on their mind so probably this person thinks that there's a lot of drama and chaos that's going on between you guys or this person is ready to fight for this relationship we'll see because with the three of pentacles, the action that they plan on to taking is they're wanting to work on a relationship, working, wanting to work on a partnership with you. <coughs> Mutual energy, ten of wands. You both think this is a burden, okay? Both of y'all are stressed out with this relation. Uh, with this situation is what I'm saying. Why is the two of pentacles in reverse here? Four of swords. Yeah, someone needs to make up their mind here. There's a lot of indecision, okay, with the four of swords here. There's a lot of overthinking, over analyzing about a situation, but I think this is indecisiveness also. Give me one more card for the two of pentacles in reverse and the four of swords. What is the two of pentacles with the four of swords? <clears throat> Six of pentacles, yeah. I feel there's someone here who's thought a lot about they were juggling a situation either juggling two people or juggling uh, the decision of whether they wanted to give into the situation or not but with the six of pentacles here this person is definitely someone who's wanting to come towards you they want an equal give and take relationship and they finally dropped the idea okay not drop the idea i think they finally made up their mind is what i'm getting the chariot why is this on pisces's mind <clears throat> why is the chariot here oh baby Chariot and the Three of Pentacles in reverse here. Ten of Swords in reverse. You feel backstabbed, betrayed, cheated by this person, okay? Something ended badly here. You refuse to cooperate. You refuse to compromise with this person out here, okay? All right, so that's what I get. Probably you are the one here who's finally made a decision to drop this person. You probably were indecisive in the past, okay? And probably with the Four of Swords here, there was no communication, okay? You probably withdrew from this person, okay? Or this person has withdrawn from you, okay? And whatever realization they've come to is that they want to give this a relationship a chance. But more than anything, they want to have that reciprocity, okay? That balanced relationship. They're ready to give you what you deserve whilst you are ready to walk away. <clears throat> What's the Ace of Swords here on this person's mind? Four of Wands in reverse here. So yeah, there has been a breakup. Something ended which was long term here, okay? Eight of Wands in reverse here. There was a lot of... This person could be holding back communication, okay? And could be holding back communication on purpose. But now this person wants clarity, okay? Either this person is someone who wants closure or they want to come in and uh, talk about this ending out here, okay? Give me one more card. <clears throat> What's the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands in reverse? What is the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands in reverse? Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is in two minds. That's what I'm getting here. Two of pentacles, two of wands here. This person is needing to make a decision. They're keeping on hold, okay? And that could be a reason why you shut down the door on this person's face, okay? You ended this relationship, which was as good as a commitment. And uh, now they want to come in, okay? They want to come in with clarity, no more confusion. This person wants that um, <coughs> communication. But they're still sitting on the fence, thinking about what they can do, okay? They're in two minds about whether they want to commit to you or not is also what I'm getting. Tell me about the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You want to communicate. <coughs> You're shut down, but at the same time, you want to communicate, okay? You feel the needs to address this situation urgently. Yeah. Knight of Swords. Yeah, you want to talk to this person. You want to confront this person, you know. <coughs> Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? The sun. Yeah, see, 
this person wants clarity. <coughs> Sorry about that. Seven of Swords. This person could be someone who could be strategizing, planning a move towards you. Or this could just be someone overall, okay, who was just trying to escape this relationship, trying to avoid the situation as much as they could, withholding a lot of information or just keeping their um, feelings under wraps. This person finally wants clarity, okay, because after the breakup that's happened, they have been needing to make a decision, okay. Either they're waiting for you to make a decision or they need to make a decision about whatever ending has happened between you guys. <coughs> to me, it looks like you're moving forward, okay. But you're getting out of this person's life, okay? You're in a rush to get out of this person. You're trying to avoid and ignore this person and you just want to let this person go under any circumstances, okay? And you're really rushing it. This is departure. You're departing from this person's life is what I'm getting, yeah. <coughs> you're in no mood to work with this person. Whilst this person out here, now they have clarity. They've been illuminated to the fact that they need to fight for this relationship. Otherwise, it's getting nowhere. Yeah. <coughs> They're planning and strategizing a move against towards you. <laughs> I said against you. Why is the Ten of Wands here? It's a mutual energy. Queen of Cups in reverse here. Yeah, you're both shut down emotionally, okay? Or it could be that you're shut down emotionally. You're very detached from this person, okay? Which is becoming a big burden to this person, okay? It's stressing the shit out of them. No communication, you not talking to them. They can feel you, you know, moving away. <coughs> nine of cups you make this person very very happy okay and this person makes you happy too but it's just a relationship again it's a situation that's stressing you both out okay because that's the mutual energy because one person is shut down here emotionally and looks like you pisces you've loved this person to the core but because this person probably was not offering you something stable they put you on hold okay or uh, they were not communicating they were not giving you clarity right that's why you're choosing to walk away but this time with the three of pentacles in reverse it's like you're so clear with the chariot here so clear of moving forward okay you're like fuck you no thanks okay you're just done <clears throat> that's why like i said two of pentacles in reverse you're making up your mind you're no longer indecisive you've healed okay or this person that is coming in right they've healed and now they realize that with the four, six of pentacles they should you know if they want to progress here this is how it's going to be otherwise it's not going to work out the action you plan on taking is the page of swords here why is the page of swords here six of cups oh babe you miss them so much but you're still look at this look at the cards here chariot and the ace of cups in reverse the same bloody combination is this coming you're definitely hell-bent on moving forward you're not going to wait for this person you feel this is the right direction too and you're just like hasta la vista baby page of swords you're probably still going to watch this person you know just stalking a lot but you're not going to communicate probably even if there is communication coming in right with the six of cups here there is someone here from the past who wants to come back i feel you have a lot of good memories with this person you may communicate you may not communicate i'm not very sure <coughs> what's the page of swords and the six of cups <coughs> what's the page of swords and six of cups see two of pentacles again if this person, this person I feel is coming in to communicate with you. This person is coming in to communicate with you. I feel that you're going to be in two minds of whether you want to reciprocate back. As if you want to be with them or you want to even give them another chance. Or whether you want to even entertain that communication that's coming in from this person. That's what I feel. Really. <clears throat> you see this person as a soulmate. But it's like that's that's all i got because they're not giving you anything to work with okay so six of cups is not a reconciliation it is but at the same time out here in reference to the spread i feel you have a good mem you have a lot of good memories with this person you look at them as your as your soulmate right but again watching them from a distance loving them from a distance <clears throat> but not making up your mind when it comes to their communication towards you why is this three of pentacles here why is this the action that this person will take towards pisces Clap for the three of pentacles. Eight of swords in reverse. Lovely. <clears throat> Two of swords in reverse. Yeah, see, this person is very, very clear about what they want with you, you know. See, they're no longer indecisive. They're very clear about what they want. They've made a decision. They're coming out of any kind of um, energy that they feel stuck in. 
trapped, restricted. This is about their own thoughts. Okay. So they're coming in towards you very clear in their head about what they want. Okay. And what they want is they want to uh, release themselves from a situation. Okay. They want, it's like unstuck. Okay. And getting out of a situation where they were trapped only because of their own fear. Okay. So this person has had a splash of cold water and they finally realize that knock, knock, it's time for you to make a fucking move before Pisces says, screw you which you already are the likely outcome the most likely outcome the hierophant this is commitment this is long term this is moving things to high levels of commitment thinking this is a spiritual connection a very meant to be connection sharing the same belief system what is the hierophant here why is this the best potential outcome <clears throat> give me one more card for the hierophant and the three of swords give me one more outcome for the hierophant and the three of swords why is the hierophant and the three of swords here Okay, <clears throat> babe, I still feel you're walking away. This person's finally coming in, okay, revealing there's going to be some truth that is going to be revealed. I feel this person is coming towards you, okay, with the Hierophant here, wanting something uh, committed with you, okay. Finally is what I'm getting, okay. It took for you to literally walk away and get so fed up of this person, you know, that you had to rush out like now. You know how the Knight of Swords is like rushing in? You're like rushing out, like, dude, I need to get out now. I cannot stay here one more moment. It took for you to be completely fed up with this soulmate of yours or fed up with this person, for this person to come towards you with something committed, okay? But this is going to cause them a lot of heartbreak here because with the moon in reverse here, they're coming in with the truth. They're giving you clarity with the ace of swords here, right? But with the three of swords here, it's going to cause a lot of heartbreak here because it looks like yours, you're not going to entertain this. It's like, yeah, I always knew you were going to come back, but now it's no point because... You know how someone gives you something after so long, you have to wait and wait and wait for it and it uh, gets you a lot of tears, you get into depression, you know, a lot of negative thinking. It takes so much pain for you, you know, like why now is what I'm getting Pisces from you, like why now? And you're like no more, you know, I have the best of memories that I have with you but I'm walking away because I mean, why didn't you do it then is what I'm hearing, okay? They're coming in with that commitment, Pisces. It's going to be up to you if you want to build with them or not. Okay, They want to redo this connection, this relationship with you. That's what I have for you, Pisces. If this reading resonates with you, do like, share, subscribe and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. All right. See you. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye.